Okay, so I it's probably the last time I sent out a message was probably a month ago. Um, and part of that was because I got my MCAT scores back. And, you know, my goal was to get a, a 507. That was it. You know, I, I could deal with, you know, a 500 because that is, you know, like the medium to get into medical school. But, um, you know, I was going to, I'm, I was good with the 507, uh, and I was good with the 500, but I got a 497. And so, um, now that I think about it, like, I would say like over the past month, since I got my score back and like applied and everything, like I, I didn't do as well as I wanted to, but when you're looking at like the national average, so like for, um, you know, Asians and, uh, non-minorities, uh, for the most part, uh, you know, you're looking at about like a median is a 500, but when you're looking at like minorities, Latin, uh, Latinos, um, and, you know, black people, it's, you know, it's Native Americans, Pacific Islanders, that it's, it's around like a 494. Um, so like looking at those statistics, you know, I get, I, I did better than like what I was expected to do, but, um, but, you know, you try to set the bar, bar as high as possible. And so, you know, I know I've been slacking and tried to do something at least like every milestone and stuff. And so since then, you know, I got my score back. I applied to 25 schools and um, and I, I've definitely had help because, you know, in the past I've, you know, had money problems and stuff like that. And so uh, people have reached out and, um, you know, I'm definitely thankful for that because, you know, they've they've allowed me to apply to all the schools that um or, you know, like spread my net very, very wide because, uh, you know, because my score wasn't that high. Um, I was advised to expand, like spread my net as wide as possible. And um, and so with that, I applied to 25 schools um, from all over the country, from freaking uh, University of Washington to like San Diego to Utah and Colorado, freaking South Dakota, and North Dakota. Actually, no, I didn't do South Dakota. I did North Dakota go, though. And um funny thing about that one too but um you know john hopkins ivy league i've done you know all the above except for uh caribbean schools you know like i think my girlfriend tried to uh apply to puerto rico and i was like you really want to apply to puerto rico right now like i don't think that's i don't think that's cool but um yeah seems a little like muggy and stuff the room's a little dirty oh well but um you know so i i thought about that and i was like okay let me uh you know, let me just, let me just put my best foot forward. You know, I did, I did everything I could. And so the MCAT was really the final piece. And, um, and looking back at it now, like, you know, cause mind you, mind you, like I, I've been pretty out of it lately. Like I haven't been creating anything. I haven't really been making any comics. Um, I just been working and really just, yeah, just going to work and then just going to sleep. Like I've been just out of it. Uh, definitely like my self-esteem is definitely just plummeted since I got that score back. Um, at least more than like when I had one after I took it, cause that was just a bad experience. Um, and so with that, I was just like, okay. So I was talking to my girlfriend and, uh, and she was like, yeah, you know, well, you know, you could just always just retake it, you know? And so like she plans on retaking it and me, it's like, I only wanted to take it once you know, and stuff like that. And so, uh, so after that, I applied, you know, did, did everything that I could. And, you know, then you have this kind of dry spell. Oh, well, I'd take that back. Like my f two days later, two, two, three days later, I got my first secondary. And so secondaries are secondary applications where, you know, the first one, the AAMC, you fill out all that, do the personal letters of recommendation and pay like that, 30, 49, 40 fee and stuff like that. And then you, uh, then you send off your applications to all the schools that you chose. So I chose set 25 and well, 20, 21 or 22. And then, uh, and then I added a few more schools afterwards. And so, um, so I did that. And then afterwards I, um, sent in, you know, then you just wait. And so the first one that uh, replied back to me was North Dakota. And so, uh, from there, then I want to say like OHSU replied back. Um, I got two rejections, one from Utah. And I was like, dude, I could just like not apply there, you know? And then, uh, a few other ones, University of Washington just denied me today. 
but I got a total of like seven. So, you know, I'm sitting pretty good in terms of uh, having, you know, I would say in, in the past week, past week, yeah, the past week, it's been, it's been a week. So in the past week, I've gotten seven, about seven secondary applications and three rejections. So, um, so I'm sitting pretty good right now. You know, I, I would say that every Monday, I would say probably every Monday I get, um, I get a new sent, a set of, reje a set of uh, responses back. And so the first Monday was just, um, was um, North Dakota and then uh, University of Arizona Tucson denied me and University of Utah denied me. And then, uh, and then by the second Monday, I had OHSU, um, Rutgers, uh, I got denied by uh, University of Washington, which I really wanted to go there. Uh, but I got uh, secondary from Cornell, um, Tufts, and um, something else. I can't remember. I can't remember. I mean, it's, like, it's, it's more than I can count on one hand now. And so, um, but it's crazy, though, because I, I did like that, uh, you know, put in, like, your GPA and your MCAT score and what is the likelihood that you'll get into med school. And it said uh, 16%. And so, you know, I think that's going to be my, uh, that's going to be my goal to beat is a uh, 16% based off of just numbers. It's raw numbers, like I have 16% chance of getting into med school. And so, uh, so I think I could beat that, you know, like I've, I've overcome hip surgery to play in football, uh, in college, you know, I went from sleeping on the couch to having a, you know, a movie in theaters and now it's on Hulu, um, you know, I'm working on a cartoon series right now, and that might turn into something. And so I think, like, you know, this could be one of those things where, you know, I just kind of just beat the odds and, you know, work towards that. And so now that I have a goal, you know, like secondaries, man, those things, like I applied to two, like, 25 schools, and those were like 40 bucks each. So that was like, you know, $1,000 right there. And then uh, a little over 1000 And then, um, and now with... Uh, the secondary secondaries are at least a hundred dollars and so um oh except for a uh, freaking uh, University of Hawaii they they like their primary fee most schools want 40 bucks right freaking yeah most schools want 40 bucks Hawaii over here I paid them 40 bucks and then they come out the customer was like oh we don't we're not going to look at your score or we're not going to look at your application unless you pay us another 150 just for the primary like, dude, I don't even got that money. Like, y'all tripping. And so, like, I applied there, but I don't think uh, I might not. I don't think I'm going to uh, send in an application because, like, you want $190 just for the primary? And then you're probably going to ask me for, like, a, another 150 for the secondary, too. So it's like, I'm going to be paying three, 400 just for you to look at me, possibly reject me anyway. Like, I ain't trying to do that. And so, um... Like, it's like, dude, I got to work like three weeks, like two weeks, three weeks just to just to afford to just to get rejected. Like, I ain't doing that. And so um, and so I might not unless I come into some money. But, you know, you never know. Hey, but. um, Yeah, you know, we'll like I'm I'm, I'm trying. That's all I could say is I'm trying like I'm, I'm trying to keep the motivation up like uh, it's 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 definitely you're kind of just in this waiting game and. You know, I, I tried to work as hard as I could, you know, work on projects, build relationships with doctors at medical schools and stuff like that. And I think it, it, it's definitely paid off, like, especially because, you know, my top school, OHSU, they want to they wanna learn more. And so, oh, but I, so like secondaries, secondary applications are pretty much more specific to that school. So it's the, it's the questions that the school asks and not just like the medical association. And so the primaries, uh, those are, those are just like, it's like a basic, like a basic generic um, application that you fill out that every school looks at. And then they say, okay, well, you know, we want to learn more about you. Then they'll send you a secondary. Costs a lot more, but it gets you a step closer. And then after that, um, after that, hopefully around like January, that's when like the interview process goes. And, and the interview process is essentially like the make or break. Like if you get an interview, like the next step is either you you're going to that school or you're not, you know, like there's no other like, oh, we're going to test the waters out, blah, blah, blah. Like you get you get to know if you're going to medical school or not based off of the interview. You get an interview. 
you know, you're one step closer. You're literally one step away from, you know, going to medical school. Uh, but if you don't get no interview, you ain't going to that school. Like, so, you know, like you just hope for next year, or just, you know, try something else. So, um, so I'll try to keep everybody posting stuff. Um, you know, I've been trying to bring, make my triumphant return back to YouTube and stuff like that. But, you know, work is kind of getting in the way. And now I got secondaries and those things. I think they only give you like two weeks. Um, I want to say like North Dakota and John Hawkins, those, um, those secondaries are due November 1st. So like I, I, I should probably start on those cause November 1st is like next week. Um, or yeah, November 1st, is like next week. So, um, so I need to do that and, you know, but it's a journey. It's definitely a journey. Um, can't wait for it to be over, but you know, I have, I got a, I got a while, I got a little while at least. So, um, so you know, thanks for watching and, you know, hopefully I'll have some, have some more stuff for you guys, you know, and we'll see. So deuces.